OK, so in this video, I want to explain linear coding. And what that means is that if you've got some data that you've collected, so let's say it's in uh, degrees Celsius, for example. You've measured all these temperatures in degrees Celsius, and you've got all a huge set of data, you know, thousands and thousands of data items, and you found the mean and standard deviation, but then you realize that actually you want to find the mean and standard deviation in Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit rather than degrees centigrade. So one option would be to change all the thousands of data, item, data items into degrees Fahrenheit first and then calculate the new mean and standard deviation. Or, however, is there a way that I could take the mean and the standard deviation from the original set of data in degrees centigrade and then get the mean and standard deviation in degrees Fahrenheit from that? OK, so that's what we're talking about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to see it via example. And I've got uh, five bits of data. OK, so I'm going to do two different things to it. That's why I've drawn this out twice. Uh, and I've got the five bits of data, 0, 2, 3, 6, and 8. OK, and in the first example, what I want to do is I'm going to add 10 to all of the bits of data, OK? So let's see what happens if I just add 10 to all of the bits of data. What is going to happen? So 0 will become 10, 2 will become 12, 3 will become 13, 6 will become 16, and 8 will become 18, OK? So this is where my new data set is after adding 10. So what we want to do is we want to think about, well, what's happened to the mean? So the mean of the original set of data will be somewhere around here. The mean of the new set of data will be somewhere around here. So if I have a mean of this set of data and I add uh, a number to all of those data points, then the mean will travel along with the data set. So whatever the mean was originally, so we will have this x bar, OK? Whatever that was originally, my new mean, let's call it y bar, will be equal to the old mean plus 10. OK? That makes sense. So that's what would happen for the mean. What, would, what about the standard deviation? Well, the old set of data will have a standard deviation, which will be given by sigma x. Well, after adding 10 to all of the data items, have they become more spread out? Well, no, OK. They haven't got any more spread out. They haven't squashed inwards. They haven't gone outwards. OK, so that stock of set of data has just moved and is still precisely the same spread. OK, so in actual fact, the standard deviation won't have changed. So for this example, the new standard deviation will just be precisely the same as the old one. OK, so that's what would happen if I just add or subtract a certain amount to my data. The mean will change, but the standard deviation won't. And this is true for SX as well, OK, for the sample standard deviation or MEI's standard deviation. So SX is it precise the same thing. In my second example, let's say I want to multiply all of these data points by 2. OK, now the 0 multiplied by 2 will just stay where it is. 2 will go to 4, 3 will go to 6, 6 will go to 12, and 8 will go to 16. So the black ones here, they represent my old data set. The red ones are my new data set. So what has happened to the mean? 
Okay, well, if I've multiplied all of the data items by 2, then the mean will also have been doubled. Okay, the mean would now be somewhere around here, I expect. So, the mean will be 2 lots, the new mean will be 2 lots of the old mean. Okay, how about the standard deviation? Well, in multiplying everything by 2, the distances between each of the data points have all now, well, the average distance between each of the data points and the mean has now doubled. And so the standard deviation has doubled. So what we can see is that if I add or subtract a certain amount to, the mean, uh, to my data points, then the mean will change, but the standard deviation won't. If I multiply or divide all of my data points by a certain value, then both the mean and the standard deviation change. So the idea here is that if the data goes through a linear transformation, let's say it's y equals a plus bx, okay, then the new mean is affected by both a translation and by a stretch, effectively. So by the addition or subtraction and by the multiplication. So it's affected by adding on A and by being multiplied by B. So the new mean will be A plus B X bar. The new standard deviation, well, the new standard deviation is not affected by adding or subtracting a certain amount to it. So this adding on of A will not affect the standard deviation, but multiplying by B will. So this will be B lots of sigma X. Okay, so this is what you need to remember. The mean is affected by both multiplication and addition, but the standard deviation is only affected by multiplication.